Now, Ukraine is urgently appealing to its allies for more air defense supplies as it struggles to fend off waves of Russian missile and drone strikes. The call comes in response to a renewed Russian assault on energy supplies and infrastructure. A drone strike has destroyed one of Ukraine's major power plants. Tripilska plant was the largest energy supplier for Kyiv and two other regions. Mike Martin is a War Studies Senior Fellow at King's College uh, London. Uh, welcome back to DW, Mike. Uh, so Ukrainian air defences brought down 57 of the 82 incoming missiles and drones. Um, what does this tell us about the state of Ukraine's air defence systems? Well, look, if I was an air defence commander in charge of defending a city, I'd want to take out every enemy projectile or drone or plane that came towards me. And I don't think it's a lack of skill. They've been doing this for months. It tells us that they simply don't have the missiles and other projectiles to take out incoming Russian drones and planes and missiles. All right. And, and this, is, this has been a, a theme for, uh, for perhaps the, the, the last six months mm. to a, a year of this war, the, the lack of uh, mm. artillery on the mm. Ukrainian side. Mm -hmm. It, it has, yeah. And, and this is specifically about um, aircraft missile defence, which is more specialist than artillery. Um, artillery ammunition you produce in great bulk and ship it to the front lines and then it gets fired at the enemy. But as we've seen, you know, 80 um, Russian uh, either drones or planes or missiles came over last night. So that's not very many. You don't need very many air defence missiles. But each one is is more expensive uh, more tech, you know, often they're heat seeking, so they're more technically complicated than an artillery round. And, you know, we've seen in the news again over the last year the furore over are they going to get the American Patriot system? Are they going to have enough missiles for it? This is part of the wider story in Ukraine, which is that Ukraine doesn't really have all of the ammunition that it needs to put through the weapon systems that it's already been given. Well, Russia has been targeting energy facilities uh, across uh, Ukraine since the beginning of the war. Mm. Their rate of success appears mm. now to be increasing. Um, what has changed? Mm. Mm. Well, absolutely. They've been doing it for about 18 months now, and that was to, you know, it is a war crime. We do need to say that, right? Targeting energy facilities that civilians use is, is a war crime. Um, but, but what's changed is uh, uh, your, your viewers will probably note that over the last six months, Ukraine has been starting to hit Russian oil production, oil refinery facilities, and that's causing problems in Russia. So there is a renewed Russian focus on targeting a bit of a tit for tat, really, uh, targeting Ukrainian supplies. And of course, as we've already mentioned, the Ukrainians are running out of the defensive missiles that they need. So this $60 billion worth of uh, aid for Ukraine that's uh, still being blocked by the US Congress, even if that gets passed pretty quickly, how much difference uh, can it, how much time will it take to actually make a difference? Uh, well, uh, you know, some of, some of what happens when uh, appropriations get made is that it, it, it covers an order that goes into the US military stocks and the US military is able to immediately give away what it has in its stocks and then that order that, that's gone from the appropriation will then restock the US military. So the question is really the balance between those two. But to answer your question directly, it, it's not going to make an immediate difference. We're talking, you know, a month, six weeks, and, and whilst that goes on, more and more of those uh, Russian drones and, and planes and missiles are going to get through uh, the air defences. Good talking to you. Thanks for uh, taking us through that so clearly. Military analyst Mike Martin from King's College, London.